Welcome to the Bulldog Show. I'm Darrell Allen, along with Thomasville High School head football coach Jonathan Delay. And of course, the Dawgs coming off an open week last week, coach, as uh, we, we, had a, we had a break in between our non region, our region portion of the schedule. Before we talk about this, that for just a moment, let's, let's talk and remind everybody about the game Monroe. Change from Thursday night to Wednesday night because of the storm. Yes, sir. The game's uh, Wednesday night at Monroe, 7 o'clock. Uh, hope to see everybody out there. Uh, should be a nice night for football. That was the, the last night we were for sure that the weather was going to be good, so that's why we, uh, we talked to them and went ahead and decided to move the game up. All right, Coach, coming off, of, coming off a big win over Tiff County into the open week, not the off week, the open, open, open week. Talk a little bit about what you tried to get accomplished there. You know, we tried to build some depth last week, and, and we did. We did a good job of that. Uh, we took Monday last week. We did a Sunday practice. Uh, Tuesday we got after it against ourselves. Wednesday we actually took that day and prepared for Monroe. Uh, which actually looking back is, is, was a good idea. Thursday morning before school, we scrimmaged. Uh, so we had a, a good week of practice. And then we started this week on Sunday. We did a Monday practice Sunday. So we did full pads practice Sunday and Monday of this week. Today will be a hybrid Wednesday, Thursday, and we're going to play a football game tomorrow. So uh, it was a great open week. We, I felt like we built, built some depth, got some guys healthy and ready, ready to go tomorrow. An important week, Coach. I mean, as fans, we don't really realize what – how important it is because the things you're trying to get accomplished. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the open week is super important about uh, that that next run, and that's the thing about our schedule this year. We got five, then we're open, then five that count to get us to that last five game stretch. So it was really big to have that open date when we had it, so we can get some some guys back. All right, coach. We've got three senior football players with us today. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have them in here in just a moment and, and get a chance to meet them and to hear from them and learn a little bit about them. I know that. This senior class is a class you're proud of. Yeah, they're doing a great job. You know, we got DJ, Evan, and uh, Beck here today, and you know, super excited to hear what they have to say. You know, about about what's going on with football season or just what's going on in life. So, uh, I'm proud of those guys and how how they work, how they come prepared every day. So, look forward to hearing from them. All right, so we're going to take a time out here on the Bulldog Show. Going to meet three senior football players, and after that, Coach and I'll be back to talk a little bit more about the Monroe game, and we'll do that after this timeout. Damage to underground utility lines is a problem in the United States, and unsafe digging practices is a major cause. Unsafe digging can compromise community safety and disconnect people from critical services. Contractors, homeowners, and other utility owners need to be safe. Here's a few things to remember. Call 811 before digging. Wait the required time. Respect the marks and flags. Dig with care. If damage occurs, call your local utility provider, and then make the call to 811. All right, welcome back to the Bulldog Show. We got three senior football players with us here today. Going to give you a chance to meet them and find out a little bit about them. And first of all, let me introduce them to you. Number seven, DJ DJ Thurman, and uh, DJ, you're making me feel old because I told you before the show started. I, I called the games for your dad, Demario, who was a quarterback for the Bulldogs. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So all right. Uh, now you play on both sides of the ball. A little bit of offense, a little bit of defense, or a lot of offense and a lot of defense. I should be saying. You got a preference? You like either side better? Uh, I say I like offense better um, because I've been playing it since I was a freshman. So, uh, yeah, I think you, I, you score touchdowns rushing in and receiving this year. Yes, sir. So you're catching the ball, running with the ball, doing a little bit of everything, right? Yes, sir. All right. Also with us today, number five, Beck Nicholson, and uh, Beck plays in the secondary for us. Beck, when people talk about you, they mostly talk about those punt returns. I mean, what's it like to sit out there and see that ball coming in high and coming at you, and people coming all around you? And I mean, what 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 are you thinking about right there? Uh, no, you, you just gotta you gotta catch the ball. Yeah, you can't look at nothing else. Um, so, are you are you pretty intent every time a punt comes that you want to make a return? Oh yeah, I I I don't like the fair catch a whole lot. I like to to catch it and run. So, yeah, yeah you know, Coach Lake well, over here a couple of weeks ago told me something I never thought about. He said every time you catch a kickoff or a punt, return it for ten yards or twenty yards. That's one first down or two first downs. So it helps the football team, helps the offense. So it's pretty important, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. When you think about it, when you think about it that way. Okay, we're gonna get back with some more questions with these guys here in, in just in just a moment. Uh, and then of course number number ten, Evan Wynn. Evan, you last year you were a safety, played really well there. This year you've moved the linebacker. Talk a little bit about that for us. Uh, you know, it's just a little change. You know, I'm learning it every day, but I mean I'm closer to the ball, so I feel like I'm making more plays there. Yeah, one of the reasons you got moved because you're such a good tackler. Do you, you, you like being in that position better? Yeah, sir. Okay, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit more with Evan here also in in, uh, in just a moment. DJ, talk a little bit about leadership now. You're a senior on the football team. You've been playing for a while. 
Uh, talk about dealing with the young guys and how you how 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 how, how you handle that. Sometimes it can be hard. Um, they do listen. They listen. Uh, they are pretty good kids, man. But you know. Do you think back back when you were a freshman, like, oh man, how did I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I when I was a freshman, I used to play around a lot, just like them. So yeah, I could understand. I could understand if they childish sometimes, but you know, you have to stay on them. Okay. So you you kind of you kind of you kind of like that role of being a, being the one that says, hey, this is how we do things here. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay. All right. Babe, we played in as a senior class. You've already played in twelve playoff games. That's a that's a that's a pretty big deal. I mean, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of a lot of kids that go through their high school career just hoping to play in a playoff game. You've already been involved in in twelve with more to come. So uh, that that's pretty big, isn't it? Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Play, playoff games, that's a different atmosphere, especially when they're at home. It's real fun. All right. Yeah, we talk about now the, the, your senior class. You know, y'all y'all been together now for four years. And what kind of goals and aspirations do y'all have for this year? Our goal is, like, coming together, really. Because there was some seniors who, like, who ain't played all four years. It's like, you got to tell them how it really is. And everybody coming together, like how it's going right now. Okay, so we're, to this region. you think we're headed in the right direction? Yes, sir. All right, guys. All right, guys. This this round we're, we're going to do right. We call it rapid fire. I'm going to ask you a question, and you just kind of tell me the first thing that comes to your mind, and uh, and uh, and then we'll 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 give everybody a chance to answer each question. Okay. So DJ, we're going to start with you. Talk about your plans after graduation. Have you kind of figured out what you want to do? Yes, sir. Uh, I plan to go to FAMU. If not FAMU, I was going to go to the military. Okay. And uh, be in the army. All right. Very good. All right, Beck. Yes, sir. Well, I'd like to to go to school somewhere. I haven't really decided yet, and go further my education and get a degree. I'm not real sure where yet, though. And you're also on the baseball team, right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Kevin? I haven't decided on where I'm going yet, but, you know, football life forever, so I'm planning on majoring in sports medicine. Okay. Very good. All right. All right, Becky, your favorite subject in school? Uh, I like history. History? Uh, okay. Why? I've always had good history teachers. I like learning about wars and all that. It's really interesting to me. Uh, Evan, what about yeah, you? I say history. I go with the same thing. Same thing? You like history for the same reason? Yes, sir. All right, DJ? I say math because math is crazy easy this year. Easy? Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, that's a good reason. If it's easy to you to like it, that's right. All right. All right, Evan, your favorite athlete. I mean, it can be it can be high school, college, pro, somebody in the past, whatever. Just who, who, who's your, who do you kind of look to? I got to say Jamal Adams. All right, why? Just because it's dog in him. Like, he got that mentality, like, he can't be stopped. Okay. I look up to him, I kind of like replica my game to him. All right, DJ? I say Charlie Thomas, man. Really? Yes, sir. Well, why? Uh, because he helped me out with a lot. I used to work out with him. You know, I look up to him. And Charlie's a good player still, isn't he? Yes, sir. All right. Beck? Oh, uh, really? I've, I've always liked Deion Sanders just, just because he, wow, that's he a played, that's going back away down played, there, yeah. played, <laughs> played the same sports as I do, you know, football, baseball. Always, always. If he can do it, I can do it. Okay, very good. All right, pregame, guys. What do you like to do during pregame? I mean, I see you guys before the game with your, with your headsets in and doing different things. DJ, what's your kind of routine for pregame? Uh, I listen to my music. I take a little nap. Then once I wake up, I pray before I go to the field. All right, Coach DeLay plays some music for y'all during practice and all. How's that music? You do a pretty good job with the selection. Yes, sir, most of the time. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. All right, <laughs> all right Beck, what about you? Uh, well, I like to... I like to lay down, live at, definitely listen to my music, get in my zone, you know. Get your mind right, yeah. right. All right, Evan? All right, mine kind of different from theirs. Okay. I like to go out and, like, talk to the freshmen, like, you know, help them set up the field and stuff like that, you know, create a bond with them. Oh, really? Okay. All right, so just kind of keep busy. Yeah, sir. Yeah, but, okay. like, you know, I ain't doing too much with it, you know. All you know, right. Chilling. I don't think I've ever had anybody, we've ever had anybody have that answer for this. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that, yeah, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, Big, what do you like most about being on the football team? What do you like most about being a Bulldog? Just being with the team all the time, you know, um, the community, all my friends in school, you know, it's, it's different being, I'm really, my, no, none of my friends really play football that I hang out with most of the time outside of football. I got a lot of baseball friends that I hang out outside with, but I'm really the only one that I hang out with that's on the football team, so. Okay. But I like being with them. When I'm with them at practice and all that, it's a good, good time. All right, Evan? The tradition. Tradition? Really, okay. like, everything behind it, it just made me feel better as a person, really. Okay. So, all right, DJ? I love it because 
everybody on the football team I basically grew up with. Yeah. And I feel like we have a bond already, like, outside of football. Okay, and that bond will continue on, Morton. You guys will always be buddies, okay? Yes, sir. All right, Evan, your favorite meal, man. If your house, if they said, if they said to you, what would you, you can have your favorite meal for tonight. What, what would you tell them to cook for you? Oh, all my people know chicken and macaroni. Chicken and macaroni, <laughs> all right. simple. They know this. <laughs> DJ, what about you? Hot wings and french fries, man. Hot wings and french fries, a yes, good sir. answer. I uh, just like some big old steak and some, <laughs> some rolls. <laughs> So good. Well, I can eat with either one of you three guys. I like I like all three of those things, and we can do good <laughs> together. Okay. All right, guys. If, if last question, if you were going to war and you knew you were going to leave and go tomorrow, they said you can take one person with you. DJ, who would you take? I'm taking my mama because You're taking she, your mama. Okay. Yes, sir. Because she go she go go 100 percent with me everywhere. You anywhere. count on her, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Good deal. Back. I'm gonna take my brother. You know, we're gonna we can do everything together. Uh, even if we were in the trenches, I feel like we'd make it out. Okay. I said my mom. Okay. Why? 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 It's like my twin. She behind me, I'm behind her. We're going to make it out. We, we is going to make it. Yeah, we've been asking this question for years, guys, and I think mom is the number one answer. I think we went back and put tell poll. I believe it'd always be, it'd always be mom. So yeah. those are all three, three really good answers. Well, guys, we appreciate you taking the time to be here today. Moving to the region portion of the schedule now as we get ready to go to Monroe on a Wednesday night. Right. We keep reminding our people that I gotta do that. Big that's very important. It's a big ball game for us. Yes, sir. Okay, so 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 wanna get that region. I know there's a lot of good things out there for you. Wanna wish you guys good luck. Not only in the rest of the football season, but as you go forward in life. All right, and we'll be back to talk about the Monroe football game with Coach Chalet after this timeout. There are over 3,000 stormwater drains throughout the city of Thomasville. Markers are being placed to indicate these drains. When it rains, the excess water goes into the stormwater drain, and from there it flows untreated into local streams, rivers, and lakes. A lot of these drains are located in front of your homes. To keep our lakes, rivers, and streams clean, be aware of what could be flowing into the drains. Please do not put your yard trimmings or other hazardous materials in the drains. This will ensure that only stormwater is flowing into the drain. Join the City of Thomasville in continuing to be environmentally friendly. All right, back on the Bulldog Show, Daryl Allen, Coach Jonathan DeLay, and Coach, what a good job by those guys. Man, they did a great job. You know, it's it's fun to just hear what they have to say um, and, yeah. You know, that's, that's why those three are three of my senior leaders. So, All right, Coach, we, of course, coming off the open week now. We're headed to, to tomorrow night. We're going to keep talking about that. 7 o'clock Wednesday night up at, up at Hugh Mill Stadium in Albany against the Monroe Tornadoes. Very important football game because it opens the region part oh, of the yeah. schedule. You know, and, you know, when you, when you talk about goals for football season, you want to win the region. Well, you can't win the region without going, starting 1-0 and in region play. So that's, you know, that's where we're trying to get to tomorrow night is – go over there and, and play a full football game, a full two halves of football the way that we know that we can play uh, and try to come out on top and be 1-0 and going into, uh, into this region. Coach Monroe, they'll always have players. They'll always have the things that you have to worry about. Yeah, you know, Monroe, they've, got, uh, they've got two quarterbacks that play. They're, they do a really good job. Uh, one of them especially is very elusive. They got some good wideouts on the outside, like throw the ball up. For our guys, it's going to be about tackling, and then when they throw the ball in the air, having that mindset that that's our ball, go get it. Uh, offensively, uh, they do a good job. They're going to try to keep seven guys in the box as much as possible. We're going to have to establish that run and take our shots down the field when they present themselves, uh, and then you know execute those shots and take advantage of the opportunities that they give us. And the biggest thing is, you know. And, and this is cliche, but put the ball in the end zone, keep them from putting it in the end zone, and that's, that's going to be the difference in the ball game. All right, Coach, we just met three of our senior football players, and as we, as, we, as we enter the region portion of the schedule, I always think about that being about the senior class. I mean, these, these guys, the chance to make their, make their mark right here is how, they, how well they do in the next five ball games and what we do, what we do after that. We talked about the fact this senior class has already been involved in 12 playoff games and a lot of other big ball games, so they understand what's going mm -hmm. on. So they've actually already played four regular seasons, really, plus two games, if you, if you think about it. Um, but, yeah, they, you know, when you talk about leaving a legacy, those first five ball games are huge because there's some rivalry games and things there. But these are the games that start that path on what is your legacy as a senior. 
And, you know, there's no better way than going 1-0, and winning the region. And then Beck mentioned it, you know, home playoff games are so special, especially at Thomasville, that, you know, if, if you win the region, you're guaranteeing yourself home playoff games. And that's what we're trying to get to so that, you know, we play this five-game schedule, try to win this region, and then that next five-game schedule, talking about the playoffs, get as many of those games at the vet as we can get because we know that there's a 12th man, and that's our fans that get up in those stands. And like, and like senior classes in the past, this class has high expectations, and they should. Yeah, they should. I mean, there, there's a lot of good football players in that class. There's a lot of growing leaders, and, you know, like, like you said, they've been a part of some deep playoff run teams because of things that they have done those guys uh, that are in this senior class now. So it's just exciting to see, you know, what's going to happen in these next few weeks. And we get it, you know, tomorrow, you know, a little over 24 hours from now, we're going to get to see the start of this region schedule. All right. So 7 o'clock kickoff Wednesday night up at, up at Hugh Mills Memorial Stadium as the Dogs take on the Monroe Tornadoes. Coach and I will be back with the highlights of that game next week.